Kelly, and I'm an interpretive naturalist for Minnesota State Parks and Trails at Jay Cook State Park. I saw many animal friends on my outdoor adventures during the long, warm days of summer. But as we get shorter days and longer nights, temperatures get colder as we move into fall. As I've been outside on my nature walks, I've made a lot of observations about how nature changes through the seasons. And I've started to notice animals prepare for winter. During fall, there's a lot of animals and a lot of food available. Oh, hey, there's a squirrel. Oh, it sure has his paws full of acorns. Wow. Oh, it's hard to keep track of them. Winter is the season with the least amount of food available, so it makes sense that squirrels are planning ahead by gathering all those acorns and stashing them away. Many animals are busy during fall, eating a lot, storing food, and finding shelter to help protect them from the snow and cold. I noticed squirrel's tail getting fluffier, so it can use it as a scarf. Many animals will grow thicker fur and warmer feathers. Some animals grow so much fur around their feet that it changes their shoe size. This helps them to scoot across the snow easier. You and I will have to put snowshoes on to do that. A few animals change their fur color so they can hide from predators by blending in with their surroundings. So as the amount of sunlight gets less and the temperatures get lower, some animals adapt or make changes as best they can to get through winter. Other animals head to places to make sure they get as much sunlight as possible. Hey, there's a Canada goose. I think it's waving hello. Oh, I thought that was just one. There's a whole group of geese. Maybe I startled them. The whole flock is flying away. I wonder where they're going. Through my observations, I discovered that our geese friends packed up and left town to fly to a warmer place for the winter. Geese spend a lot of time in Minnesota lakes during warm months, but those waters freeze when it gets cold. Besides that, they eat aquatic plants, insects, and grasses. Tough to find those here in winter. Many animals can't get to their food source in cold, snowy habitats, so they need to migrate or travel south where it's warmer. Which makes me wonder, how does a migrating animal know where to go? Some use their eyesight to follow landscapes. Some feel it's safer to fly at night, so they look at the stars to help them navigate. And other migrators just know where to go. Oh, look at here. Footprints from a little chipmunk. Maybe it'll pause to say a friendly hello. The tracks lead this way. There it is. Wow, it must be hungry. Its cheeks are full. Normally, chipmunks are chatty. If an animal can't adapt to winter weather and it can't migrate to a warm place to find food, then it needs to find a cozy shelter and hibernate or rest through the cold months. That got me wondering, how does a hibernating animal survive without having breakfast, lunch, and dinner for several months? I can barely make it through one night's sleep without my stomach growling. Food is the fuel to keep our body's engine running, giving us energy to walk and run and even to breathe. Mammals that hibernate need to eat a lot of food in the fall and store that energy in their bodies as fat. Some small animals also store food in their den for when they wake up to stretch, take a deep breath, and have a snack break. Hibernation doesn't just happen all of a sudden. The animal gets sleepy over a few days until they curl up in their dens and close their eyes. Also, their breathing and heartbeat slows down and their body temperature drops lower. This all happens in order to use less energy and make that stored fat last through the winter. Brr, it's gotten chilly. Well, we tried to say hello to the animal friends, but I guess they all had other things to do, preparing for changes as best they know how as we head into winter. Whether that's eating a lot of food to store up energy to hibernate, or migrating south to a warmer location, or just adapting with changes like extra food and a winter coat for the Minnesota winter. If you had a choice to migrate, hibernate, or adapt for winter, what would you do? It would be nice to be in a warm location, or I would love to stay in my jammies all day and nap, but I would miss all my winter animal friends playing out in the snow, 
and just cuddling up with a blanket seeing snowflakes shine in the sunlight.